Hi guys! I'm not sure if this is actually going to make it into any of my vlogs because I'm not doing anything too exciting today. I'm actually just going to a coffee shop in a bit. I need to plan my birthday party and do some just like routinely stuff I would do at home if I weren't working. So um, yeah, just getting some errands done and probably working on my blog a little bit. And yeah, I just feel like it's been a while since I've vlogged and I didn't want to lose that kind of um, routine that I had going because even though I've been to Salt Lake City before, I still want to show you guys what I'm doing when I'm on my layover and I still want to stay in touch with you guys and, you know, keep it going because I don't want to just fall out of the loop with it and yeah because I feel like that's something that I would typically do with these little hobbies that I have going on. Um, I actually kind of have a funny story earlier. GoDaddy.com which is like where I got my domain and everything. They called me and I thought it was so interesting because they've never called me before or even like reached out to me via email or anything but yeah so they called me and they wanted to just say hi and to let me know that um, you know they're aware of my website I guess and they just wanted to know if I had any questions or anything and then I got a $70 refund for something that was um, automatically renewed and the guy told me that I actually didn't even need it so oh my gosh GoDaddy.com customer service is on par that was like amazing I was so surprised and yeah I can do a lot with $70 so I'm super excited um, yeah, my website is still up. It's my blog, rosypeony.com, if you want to check that out. And yeah, I have some really cool things planned for my birthday, um, which is coming up in like two weeks. That's so crazy to think about. I'll be turning 25. That's so crazy. I'm so nervous about it. I don't know. I just have this fear of like getting older. And I know that sounds a little weird, but yeah, I just feel like I'm a kid at heart. And it's weird turning 25, but... I'm excited at the same time and yeah, I'm actually running a little late to meet somebody so I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got to Dallas and um, I was actually deadheaded down so that means you get to sit in the customer seat and um, basically get paid for it and I always feel really guilty when I do so I try to make my way back there and help out a little bit ask if they need anything um, I don't know if that's normal or not but I like to do that um, I got a lot of work done on my laptop uh, it was like a three four hour flight I actually don't remember anymore um, and I got a vlog edited and ready to post, a blog post um, ready to edit and post with pictures. And um, yeah, I feel really accomplished and it made my time go by really fast, which is really nice because those seats are not comfortable when you're used to just walking around during a flight. And yeah, um, but this is officially my last trip before my probation is over, which is crazy. I can't believe it's been like six months. And yeah, I just feel really lucky and really fortunate that I, you know, met so many great people within these past six months and that I've just been getting like really great feedback from people. And um, my supervisor has already called me actually um, last week, I think, to let me know that I passed. And so it was kind of like spoiler alert. But yeah, I'm so excited. Um, the only downside is this trip, I'm pretty much alone the whole time because it's a completely made up trip. Um, I'm flying with the crew tomorrow to Portland and then flying back down to Dallas, laying over, and then being flown up as a passenger again. It's called deadheading, but they're deadheading me again back to Seattle, which is really nice, but that means I'm most likely laying over by myself. And um, yeah, the crew here, they were really nice and everything, but my wake up time is pretty much three o'clock in the morning Seattle time. I don't like to think of it in terms of that, but um, I'm not gonna get much sleep if I you know, stay up and chat and stuff. So that's really unfortunate. I'm actually dressed to go to the gym right now. Um, I just have a cookie to burn off. I got a cookie from the Double Tree. They are so sweet. Um, they always give us these cookies and stuff when we stay there. I think everybody gets them actually, but 
yeah, so that I was so hungry when I got in that I just like chad that down and I was like, okay, I have the energy to finally get a workout in. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, I was just thinking about how like the crew is hanging out downstairs and I was just feeling a little bummed out that I, I mean, technically I could join them, but um, I don't know. I was just like, I don't wanna feel lonely or you know, just down on myself. So I decided to get out my phone and vlog for you guys. Um, talking even makes me feel good and like that I'm talking to somebody else even though I'm alone obviously. But yeah, it just feels really good to be talking and um, yeah, it's gonna be a good trip, you guys. So they're gonna think I'm such a loser, but it is 8.58 and um, I couldn't figure out what channel Big Brother was on downstairs because all the hotel channels are all different and weird. So um, I am back in my hotel room. I cut my workout short. I just got like 20 minutes of cardio in and I had just started my circuits, but I was like, oh my God, I really need to watch Big Brother. It's like the one thing like I keep up with anymore. So I'm back in my hotel room. I like Googled to see what channel Big Brother was on and I like looked it up on my TV and I think I might try to do some like lunges or something while I watch. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna eat my dinner and um, probably just work on some of my DIYs for my birthday party, which is on Sunday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see all my friends um, because it's been a while since I've seen some of them. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys some of my DIYs um, if I get the chance to get that out. So, funny thing happened. Um, football season's just started today, so on CBS in Dallas, it's a Cowboys game um, against uh, the Chargers, and yeah, Big Brother's not even on, so um, I'm gonna be stalking online and just seeing when Big Brother is gonna be on so that I can just stream it, I guess. Um, the so, Since the game's going on, like Big Brother's not even on the TV schedule, I did like so much research on this, and I even tweeted a stranger, like, who am I? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why it's like that big of a deal to me. I just like was so looking forward to this episode and um, Yeah, so I'm just gonna chill and I wanted to show you guys what I brought with me on my layover I hope you guys don't mind this really chatty vlog. I don't typically talk this much in my vlogs It's more um, filming like what's around and what I'm doing and then kind of muting it most of the time and having some music in the background and stuff but I typically really like chatty vlogs. I watch vlogs on the daily. I love, like, there are three or four vloggers that I watch every day. And, um, yeah, I just really like the chatty ones. So I hope you guys like this style of vlogging. If not, um, well, I don't know what I'll when I'll be doing this next. So you won't have to worry about it. <laughs> so here's my lunch bag. I'm just going to show you guys briefly what I brought with me. I made these date Powerball things. Um, basically, it's dates, cocoa powder, um, uh, what's that? Walnuts, coconut, chia seeds, and that's pretty much it. I brought some yogurt with me, Greek yogurt. Love this stuff. Brought some salad dressing because I'm going to be chowing on some salad. Cherry tomatoes, or maybe these are grape tomatoes. I can't really tell the difference. It's a bag of kale and spinach half-eaten cucumber, a full cucumber, another one of these Greek yogurts. I love these because there's no artificial sweeteners in this and also no added sugars. So the sugar content is only seven grams compared to, usually it's like more than 10 grams, like up to like 20 grams, I swear, in one of these little containers. So these are great for post-workout. There's like 15 grams of protein in this. It's really great. And then I brought my chicken. I cooked this with um, Mrs. Dash seasoning, so no salt or anything. Um, brought some baby carrots with me. I brought my favorite little tumbler that I got from Salt Lake City. I love this little guy. It has my name on it. And it's just like so my style. Like even if it didn't say my name on it, but it was in the same like font, I would have loved it so much. And it's like this matte black. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm just so in love with it. And I just feel like when you bring little things like this with you on layovers, it's like taking a little piece of home with you. 
so that's what I love and I just have these little coolers in here I don't know if you guys really care or not but I have four of those and then in this little pocket um, I don't really change these out or anything but I just have like a ton of tea and stuff in here some I've taken from um, random hotels some I brought from home these yogi teas emergency in case I ever need it um, I love this little thing it's a travel size like just like a travel utensils kit I guess um, some almond butter that I always keep in here more tea I bring so much tea with me I don't know why and my protein powder just in case I'm starving I guess I don't really know um, and yeah that's pretty much it and then in my other pocket up here I just have like a ton of like oatmeal and stuff like that and then here are my flowers I'm gonna be working on some DIYs while stocking Big Brother online to see when the heck it's gonna be on Here's a little salad that I just made. Um, first of all, I brought an extra container um, so that I could use it kind of as a plate. I would definitely recommend doing that. And um, I actually have a whole list of like different life hacks for flight attendants that I will be posting on my blog soon. And that is one thing that I would definitely recommend on layovers is to bring extra things of Tupperware so that you can use it as plates and bowls if you needed to. So I just have kale and spinach in here, grape tomatoes, chicken that I cooked yesterday, baby carrots, and then I'm using this chipotle vinaigrette that I got from Chipotle yesterday. I saved the dressing so that I could use it in today's salad and yeah, because I got a salad from Chipotle yesterday and I didn't need the dressing with all of the salsa that I added. So I am going to munch on this and just hang out.